Good afternoon, Bobcats, and welcome to BBTV, your home for Buffett News. Today is Thursday, October 13th, 2016. My name is Justin, bringing you the news that matters. As always, let's begin with the daily announcements. Attention, Buffett Bravo members. Practice will end at the normal time today due to a scheduling conflict with the choreographer. Attention, writers, the Fall Poetry Slam is upon us. To participate, just submit two original poems to Mrs. Thompson by Wednesday, October 26th. One poem must be about the topic music, and the other poem is your choice. Submit poems to the envelope outside room CU205, which is located in the 6A team area, right next door to the BBTV studio. The poems will be evaluated, and the top two poets will go to the district-wide slam at the pizza shop in Benson. Students, NJHS will be selling boograms until this Friday in Bobcat Den for $1. The caramel apple sucker and message will be distributed, distributed during student light conferences on Thursday, October 20th. Be a spectacular friend and send a gram to your favorite boo. That's it for the announcements today, Bobcats. Let's now head over to Evan and VN for two, two quick news stories on a season premiere in an Omaha native that might just be the new Hannah Houston. Nebraska's Hannah Houston isn't the only singer in our state, however some say she is the most famous. Omaha native Lauren Diaz is looking to duplicate her success. After causing three chairs to turn around in her audition round of NBC's The Voice, the 24-year-old the singer ended up choosing Alicia Keys as her coach. She's already competing against other singers going against another contestant on Monday night's show. She lost the head-to-head -head battle, which almost sent her home. However, in a surprise twist, Diaz is saved by Miley Cyrus to battle it out in future episodes. Fans of the sci-fi thriller Supernatural have a lot to celebrate. That's because season 12 of the hit CW show is premiering tonight. What started back in 2005 is a thriller about two brothers who hunt demons, ghosts, and monsters. The show has created quite the fan base. All 11 seasons are currently on Netflix, meaning you have over 230 episodes to stream. Unfortunately, season 12 that will air tonight at 8 p.m. on the CW will not be on Netflix for quite some time. So, Bobcats, it's time to form your opinion. Will you be tuning into the new season or stick to the other popular sci-fi shows on Netflix, such as Stranger Things. What's up, Bobcats? This is Malia here in the Sports Zone to get you updated on all things sports. Today is Thursday, which means it's time to look back in history books and see what big events took place this week in sports. A lot of exciting things took place over the week, so let's check them out. First up, on October 10th of 1951, baseball legend Joe DiMaggio played his final game in the World Series number 48. DiMaggio was nicknamed the Yankee Clipper and played his entire career with the New York Yankees. On October 11th, 1984, hockey great Mario Lemieux made his NHL debut. He would go on to play for 17 seasons in the NHL and his current owner of the Pittsburgh Penguins. On October 13th, back in 1962, popular wide receiver Jerry Rice was born in Starkville, Mississippi. Rice played almost his entire career with the San Francisco 49ers wearing number 80. Currently, he is competing on the hit show Dancing with the Stars. Our final event takes us back to the NHL where Halls of Famer and hockey legend Wayne Gretzky scores his first goal. This took place on October 14, 1979, when he played for the Edmonton Oilers. That's it for sports history. Now let's move into the BBTV Big Three. For today, since Major League World Series is in the full swing, we are going to share with you three things you need to know about this year's World Series. One. According to Vegas, the Chicago Cubs have been the best chance to win the pennant. Two, 
The Cubs beat the Giants by scoring four runs in the last inning Tuesday. Is this where the curse is broken? Three, there are now only six teams remaining in the MLB World Series. The Blue Jays, Indians, Cubs, Giants, Nationals, and Dodgers. That's all the time in the sports zone. Now over to the weather with Aubrey. Hi Bobcats, I'm Aubrey bringing you the three day forecast. Today is mostly sunny with a high of 59 and a chilly low of 44. So hopefully you brought a jacket if you're walking home from school. Looking ahead, Friday is going to be sunny with a high of 69 and a low of 59. Finally, on Saturday, there will be morning thunderstorms, but the weather warms up to a nice high of 76 and a low of 53. This nice weather won't be here forever, so enjoy it while it lasts. This has been Aubrey for the weather. Now over to Willow with the daily feature. How's it going, Bobcats? This is Willow here for our daily feature. As always, let's begin by spinning our world famous BBTV feature wheel to find out what our focus will be today. Well, it looks like we landed on mmm, food, which means let's take a look at something cool out in the world of tasty treats. Today we found a cool BuzzFeed video on how to make banana Nutella sushi. Let's check it out. That's going to do it for broadcast today, Bobcats. For more info on many of the stories you've heard today and see what we're working on for future episodes, be sure to follow our Twitter page at BuffettBBTV. Signing off, this has been Justin. Have a terrific day, Bobcats.